welcome back. You're watching Running So and So, and my name is Judy. First of all, a massive thank you to all those lovely people who've recently subscribed. Thank you so much. You're pushing my numbers beautifully over over 3,000, which is just amazing. Thank you so very much. And if you've commented or liked any of my recent vlogs, thank you so much for taking the time to do so. It does mean so very much to me. I also want to say a lovely thank you to Marcella for your beautiful gift of a coffee. Thank you so much. And as always, I tend to wind that money over into buying patterns and things that I can review on my channel. And I've got one to talk to you about today. I haven't made it, but I'll be making it this week. So today's vlog is the hopefully long anticipated Beyond the Pink Door haul. That's all I'm going to call it because it's not necessarily a fabric haul, but it's definitely a haul. So I'm going to start with a couple of little tiny things that I did buy. <laughs> First of all, this beautiful little bag brooch. Look at that. I love these little pins. Aren't they gorgeous? And this is a Lisa Taylor one. It's a lovely pink sewing machine and I've had it put to one side, not putting on any lanyards yet until I'd shown it to you. I also succumbed to the lovely labels by Lisa Taylor. These say as cute as a button. I'm getting better with labels. I'm starting to remember to put them in. Although, I haven't told you what I'm wearing. Today I'm wearing a Sicily slip dress and I'm starting to get sort of a little bit hot. Uh, Andy came to see me today from So Andy Sews. That'll be in the next vlog as well. Uh, and I was wearing my vest top, um, my sort of ready to wear vest top and I was absolutely melting. So when she and her husband left, it was with the coolest dress I could find. This was the first one and it's in a beautiful fabric that I got from Rainbow Fabrics. It was an exchange fabric and I just said to them, just send me something. They sent me this and I love it. And the other thing I bought, you know how much I love a pair of scissors. So these are the gorgeous little Lisa Taylor scissors that Andrea has. Absolutely gorgeous. I love the little handles. Now I did get some sort of little scissors from Little Rosy Cheeks and they are absolutely gorgeous. Just a tiny bit tiny bit fiddly for my little tiny, or little tiny, my rather large arthritic fingers, but there you go. So those were some little bits that I bought. Let me just move my screen away because I know that I'm in the right place. Now I'm going to go over here to the side of me, which you can't see is, I've got loads of these. So I'm going to bring them down one by one because not only have I sorted out everything I bought at Beyond the Pink Door, I've put it in fabric wallets if you're watching Ruan are you impressed I bought some more so another thing that I bought was I saw this lovely pattern and it is by Lisa Taylor again and it is she says I love you it's basically uh, pajamas and camisole top now I'm not a great pajama wearer but I need to start trying to wear pajamas and I thought I could use the gorgeous double gauze that came in my um, subscription box from Andrea in April. Now I haven't used my white and I thought that that would make a beautiful pyjama set for me to take on holiday. Now you always know when holidays are getting closer because you look at your sewing pile and you think when am I going to get it sewn up and that is exactly how I feel and I'll come to that in a minute. But I can tell you today I did make the hair appointment, so holidays are definitely getting closer. I bought two fabrics, both the same composition. They're a viscose. They look like they could be a viscose twill, but they're actually, I think it's a very close weave. I need a magnifying glass to double check it, but there you go. And it's got a lovely, lovely vertical stretch to it. Now the ultimate trousers do require just a little tiny bit of stretch. There's nothing horizontally really other than you what you could get by pulling it so hard it makes a little grease line. So I have bought this colourway and as I say I'm thinking of ultimate trousers. But the other trousers I did think would make this beautifully would be make this beautifully, make it beautifully, would be the Bell M trousers by Maison Fauve. Now I would love to have these done by the time I go on holiday but I'm going to have to prioritise because I'm not going to get all these things on my wish list made. So 
So the other stretch viscose that I bought is this gorgeous mint. Now I'm not going to unfold, well I could unfold it for you, but is this beautiful mint that I've bought. It's absolutely gorgeous. This fabric is, it's got the lovely softness that you get from a viscose, that beautiful softness and the lovely drape that you that viscose is renowned for. But it's also got a little bit of substance to it. It's not so flimsy. Look, when you flap it, get it out to flap it. Can you hear that noise? That shows it's just got a little bit of something extra. So I'm pretty certain that that will make up the ultimate trousers beautifully. Now, another fabric I bought was going back to the Lisa Taylor. It's this beautiful one here. This is just a simple viscose. It could be, I could, I could make it up for so fruity. Now, I've paired it up with a pattern at the moment. But the pattern I've paired it up with is under review. And that is the Maison Fauve Palmer Top. Now, the main reason that I have got this under review is that when Rachel and I did it, it, it has got a very large neck and I would need to do some serious alterations to it. It's not just a question of snipping up here. I might have to make it smaller, quite a bit smaller, to cope with my... I'm just tiny and dainty up here. We're all different shapes, which is why dressmaking is perfect for us. And so this material may sit and languish for a while as I contemplate. But it is a beautiful viscose and it isn't... It's, it's another viscose with some structure to it. It's not been pre-washed yet. So when a fabric is not washed, it does contain something called sizing. And the sizing gives it a little tiny bit more structure for when it's being flipped around on the roll. And it does make it easier for the store handlers to handle it and to roll it. It's only very, very, very slight. But when you're pre-washing, you're pre-washing to get anything that's left over from the manufacturing process and to account for any shrinkage. So this one has not been washed yet. So I'm looking for, and if anybody's got a lovely suggestion, I've got a metre and a half of it, because that's what it suggested, a metre and a half. I'd love to make this top because it is so loose fitting. And maybe I should just say to myself, Judy, stop being such a, a wombat and just get on and make it. Alter the pattern, make it because you'll love wearing it. And I was thinking with those beautiful ultimate trousers, in the glorious bottle green. It'd look fantastic. That was my thought. It was so lovely when I was at Andrea's because I could get the fabric out and put the fabric away. And I must have at one point had about 20 bolts of fabric out because Jan and I were left in there while well, they were all still eating their dinner, playing around with the fabric. And I did actually leave a lot of the fabrics that I liked out overnight. Andrea said it was fine. And then I went back to them the following day and I actually took a lot away. So I actually, I had so many to start with. I think I've come home with five, six fabrics. I'm missing one. I'll be back in a minute. How could I miss a fabric? I've had a jug of this in the fridge all day. It's pink grapefruit cordial. I've just been drinking that all day. I did succumb to a cup of tea about an hour ago. So one of the other fabrics I bought was a beautiful sand washed viscose. Now this has got the most gorgeous rough feet. Listen, that's my nails on it. And I wish you could feel it because they need to have feel vision on YouTube. It's so strong. It's another lovely, lovely, lovely drapey viscose with a lovely like suede feel to it. And this is going to be the Austin Sundress by Grainline Studio. And I want to get this one. This is at the top of my list of things to make underneath my Mabel. I know that. And then another one that I would love to get made before I go away is the L jumpsuit by Atelier Jupe. And that is in this one here. And I'm not going to throw this out everywhere, but I just love... And this is how you can tell the different qualities. This is another viscose by Atelier Jou. And it's, it is naturally drapier 
Can you see? It's beautiful, beautiful viscose. I think it's one that Andrew has used for something. And this is the Lisa Taylor viscose. So they all have different weights. Now, Andrea's very good, and a lot of shops are the same. They put on the weight per square metre. I sometimes find the heavier viscoses easier to work with because they're just a little bit more stable. So those are the fabrics that I have bought from Beyond the Pink Door, and it was such a lovely experience to be able to go and to buy fabrics and to see them and to handle them and to be able to put them out and leave them and to go away and think about it. But today is the 10th of June and in two weeks time I'm going into hospital for some surgery and I've thought long and hard about telling you what it's all about but I'm due to have a hemorrhoidectomy and a colonoscopy. Um, it's just wear and tear surgery. A lot of a lot of people suffer just like I do, and anybody that says that they are suffering, they've got my full full sympathy because it's just flipping uncomfortable. Now, the reason I'm telling you that is they need a bit of a reality check because there's so much I want to sew. Um, and like everybody, I am a bit of a magpie. I see the fabric and think, oh, I need to buy that. It would be absolutely gorgeous and. I've just seen the beautiful new pattern by Tammy Handmade. I'll put a picture of it in here. And Tamlin was a pattern tester. And when I saw her wearing it, I thought, oh, I need to buy that pattern. So I bought it. And then that meant I bought some fabric from First for Fabrics to make it. I also need to make some leggings for school. Not that workwear is the top of my list of priorities at the moment because it looks very much like I might not be in school for, the, for a few weeks. And I wanted to talk to you about how you can all feel overwhelmed and we can only do so much in life we can't do everything i've done my garden i've made a beautiful garden i've been playing quilts let me show you the quilt here is oops so i have the center of the quilt just here she's got a bit and as you can see i've started to draw lines on it and those lines let me just so you can see here. the lines you can see on it show me where i need to fold it back to fit it into the hole I've created in the middle. So here is the quilt. It's all sewn together. It's just got a beautiful hole in it. I mean, it, look, you know, it makes a beautiful garment, doesn't it? I mean, I could wear it. I could wear the quilt. Look at that. Do I not look silly? But I've been making my quilt. But there are things I want to make for me for my holiday. And what I suppose I'm trying to say to you is, don't beat yourself up if you can't get everything sewn up. It just doesn't matter. It'll still be there when you get home. It'll be there for next year. It'll be there for you to make to wear at another occasion. And that is what I'm going to try and do. And I'm going to do what I can do and what I can't do. Um, this awful pain that I'm suffering, and it is a pain and it's uncomfortable, it does affect my sleep. So sometimes I'm awake in the early hours of the morning and I manage to go to work and I come home from work and all I'm fit for is sleep. Con if my content seems a little weaker than normal in a couple of weeks time you'll know why i don't need lots of sympathy guys i am just one happy person that is able to get herself sorted so we're two weeks off now let's just hope to goodness i don't get the cancellation call Obviously, we all know that is always an option um, when you're having any operations done because if somebody comes in and they are worse than you then you will get cancelled so now you know what's going off in my life, why there's not been quite as much sewing from me. I just can't sit down and do too much. I've got the overlocker set up for sewing stood up. I've got all my t-shirts and things to make, which I can make stand up when I get back from the hospital. So my aim going forward is I'm going to show you my week. Um, I'm not going to do a plans video because if I do a plans video and it all falls apart, you know, I just look as if I've got egg on my face. I'm not going to make any plans. I'm going to sew what I can in the time I've got. And that's my plan, to sew and to enjoy my sewing because at the end of the day, that's what I'm here for. I'm here for the sheer enjoyment of sewing. And on that note, I'm going to say thank you so much for watching. I know it's only short today. I hope you're all well. 
everybody take care. If you like what you've seen, give me a like. If you're new here, click that subscribe button and you can see if I manage to get any of this made. I will get some of it made and I know I will be sewing. But in the meantime, have a lovely week. Enjoy what you're doing, enjoy your sewing, enjoy whatever you are doing in your lives and I'll see you all again next week. Take care.